Introducing the Jet Style, a premium style for FireMonkey applications. In Rat Studio XE3, we introduce bitmap based user interface styling for FireMonkey. This supports creating custom UI styles for Windows, Mac, and Mac with Retina Display. It also includes support for non client area styling on both Windows and Mac, allowing you to carry the custom UI style throughout the entire application, including the application title bar and window controls. On Windows, the title bar and the window controls can be styled with custom graphics. In the Jet Style, non client area styling is built into the style. In addition, we have created different styles for different control states and included glow effects for text elements. All the FireMonkey controls can easily be styled with a jet style by applying the style to your form. The jet style also includes different designs for each control. For example, for the T-switch control, you can choose from a small switch with a round design or a rectangular larger on-off switch by clicking on the control and selecting the Style Lookup drop-down menu. This also applies to other components like the T button, where many designs are available via the Style Lookup drop-down menu, which also provides a visual preview of the available designs for the selected component. On Mac, the application title bar can be styled in addition to the client area, and the Jet Style provides styling for the client and non-client area on the Mac. The Jet Style includes a non-Retina Mac style and a Retina Mac style, which was designed using high-resolution graphics that are twice the size, 2x, of the graphic used to create the non-Retina style file. To support both Retina and non-Retina Mac machines, we have to bundle both style files into our Mac application. First, we have to place two stylebooks onto our form. For stylebook 1, we're going to load the Mac non-Retina style via the Resources property. For stylebook 2, we're going to load the Retina style, the Jet2x style, via the Resources property. Now we're going to select Stylebook 1, and in the Object Inspector, set Stylebook 1, high res Stylebook, to Stylebook 2, which contains the Retina style. Then, on the Form level, we're going to set T-Form Stylebook to Stylebook 1. Now, when we deploy our application to the Mac, the correct style is automatically going to be loaded at runtime depending on the device. 